in um, 89 when I was here and they were, I mean, I was here before there was any park, but then in, even, but even before I got here, Richard Carroll had been here before and he was um, with Mike Fay and, and he was proposing it as an area for conservation. That would be interesting rather than having logging that conservation. So um, that was already kind of in the air, but not really when I first came here. There was just a logging company, but in, 80, in, in 89, um, uh, they started, I, I think they actually were declaring it, in, putting it into law. You know, there was going to be a, a couple of, it was going to be divided. It was divided to two parks, in fact, and, and maybe I'm partly to uh, blame that it's not just one connected park because I was there when uh, the American guy who was running the uh, WWF at the time. Oh, 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 hey, Dicamo Toco Ambelo, yeah, go in the micro. Um, I was there when uh, the American guy who was in charge of the WWF at that time and um, the national uh, director, Gustav Dungombe, uh, Central African, uh, they were there drawing the borders of the reserve and the park. And um, I, remember when I, was, I remember when they were drawing the border of Dzanga, Dzanga Park and they started to, you know, it was going to look like it was going to take up I was going to go all the way down south to the to the southern sector to the to the park down in uh, the Indoki Park, and it was all going to be like connected. And I kind of got alarmed, and I was like, "You know, well, where are the Bayaka going to go hunting?" And there was this guy, "Oh, oh, oh no, 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 we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to leave them an area too." And then and then they made two parks. They made Zanga and Indoki, and they're this area where the, for, which is basically the hunting area for Yandumbe for this village has been left as a, you know, open as a reserve for, for, for the Baka to go hunting. Whereas the village to the north, uh, Mosapala, a lot of their territory got taken away in the park, got incorporated into Dzunga Park. Oh, 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 oh. shh, Dika, Dika, Dika. A lot of uh, Mosapala's forest got incorporated, got incorporated into the um, National Park of Dzunga. And, you know, and if they had wanted to make one park, then they would have connected the two, uh, which is what it looked like they were going to do. But then when I, I got this, I was just looking over the shoulders. I remember the moment and I got kind of alarmed and and they gave us. So Yandum Bay came out very well in terms of having access to almost all of its original forest. You know, um, it's just a little bit uh, across the Kenya that has been incorporated into the park that they're not allowed into anymore. That that was a, a regular area. but. Um, most of their forest is still intact, but some of it, of course, is across the border in Congo, and that's all now a park as well, so they're not allowed to go there any, either. There's not, and no economic, the Baka are not allowed to go into the national parks. Uh, there's no economic activity of any kind, except tourism is allowed in the parks. I mean, certainly they're off limit to Baka, to the Baka, the parks. But, you know, on the one hand, that's bad, but especially for Mosapala, for the village of Mosapala. But on, on the other hand, I think it's good in a way because the, the parks act like a, a reserve of, that replenishes the rest of the forest with wildlife because uh, the parks are much more um, closely protected than the reserve. And so there's, there is an abundance of wildlife in the parks and the wildlife doesn't know the borders of the parks and, and it does you know, move out of the parks some of it and and so that does replenish the forest a little bit because the rest of the forest is under tremendous onslaught by by illegal hunters and even the parks increasingly and i'm really worried now about the you know when the logging starts up again because they're going to be logging near one of the parks zanga park which is unique for the elephants and they're going to be logging right next to this area where the elephants are and it's i mean the elephants are all in in, in that whole area there anyhow and they're going to just I think there's going to be an increase in elephant uh, hunting uh, with the new logging, logging when logging starts up here. And certainly an increase in other types of uh, hunting for the smaller animal. I mean, protecting the elephants doesn't really do the Baaka any, any good.